Hey everyone, Brett with the Tuning School here, and I just wanted to do a quick little video on how to figure out how many credits you need to flash your vehicle. Uh, we've been getting a lot of calls and tech support tickets on this little um, issue, and so I just wanted to kind of cover that for you. Uh, I think what's happening is uh, it's getting a little more confusing on some vehicles where the engine and the transmission might be separate. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give you the best advice I could to help you figure it out very easily um, without making a phone call to anybody. And the first thing you should do is always go over to HP Tuner's website, go to the vehicle that you're looking for. For example, if you're under Ford, um, you can come in here and you know look and see uh, how many credits it will be. However, sometimes that still isn't exactly perfect because um, you may have a vehicle where the transmission is a separate module and it's not listed here properly. Um, so sometimes there's just little weird things that'll happen, but um, I can show you a way that's going to make it very easy for you. So I'm down here in my 2018 Mustang and what I'm gonna do is come over here to the editor and I'm going to click on the read vehicle. And then I'm gonna go ahead, the key is already on. I'm obviously plugged into the OBD2 port. I'm gonna hit gather info. And then it's going to bring up some information for me. Oh, key on. And you can see that it has the, uh, the ECM listed up here. Now in this vehicle, even though this is a 10R80 vehicle, um, it's not gonna have a separate transmission module. So um, what we are gonna notice is that there's just one thing to read. Now, I think this is where a lot of folks get stuck because instead of reading, um, say there's two sections here, maybe there's an ECM and a TCM, they're skipping one of them. And then when they go to license things, it's just not, it's not showing up the right way. So what I'm gonna tell it to do is gonna go ahead and hit read entire. And if there was an, a separate one down here, like you'll find on like a Hellcat or um, some of the F-150s and things like that, make sure it also says read entire. And then click on the read button. And that's gonna go ahead and take some time, but it's gonna read that entire file for you. And once it does that, you're gonna have a file that has both the engine and the transmission or any other modules. There's even some vehicles with three, but most of them have one or two. Uh, it's gonna have all that in one file so that it's a lot easier when you go to license it. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that after I get this read out, okay? Now that you've got your file open, you can go ahead and figure out exactly how many credits you need. So you've uploaded the file from the vehicle and now you have this file sitting here. We don't actually have to license the file we can go ahead and just click on write and do a few little steps that are gonna give us some information about how many credits we're going to use to write this file. So when I click on write, uh, this one for example is a 2014 Chevy. I don't have this file licensed. So I'm gonna click on show license options now after clicking write. It's gonna read from my interface and it sees that this interface actually has 16 credits available. If I wanna license this file at this point, I can go ahead and choose the specific here and that's gonna be two credits to write this file. Now, if I wanted to unlimitedly be able to write any 2014 Chevy Silverado eight cylinder, 5.3 liter or 6.2 liter, I could actually choose to use 12 credits. And that means I, any 2014 Silverados in this criteria area, I'm gonna be able to write unlimited. I could do 100 vehicles and I'll never pay any more credits. But for the most part, we're usually just doing specific. In this case, two credits is gonna be needed. I'll show you another example for, for this one. If I were to open up a different stock file, this is not my file, but I, I don't have this file licensed. So if I was going to write this to a vehicle, I have the file open after uploading. I click on write, I click show file options or show license options. And then it comes up here again, showing my credits and that I can license this. So this vehicle right here would also be two credits. Depending on the vehicle, it's gonna show you exactly how many credits it is. And sometimes you find a vehicle where the actual number of credits that you're going to need is going to be separate for the engine and the transmission. So for an example, if I were to go here to one of my Hellcat files, I have uh, files that are going to basically need to have an engine and a trans. I'll go ahead and show you that now. All right, now I have a 2022 Hellcat uh, well, it's actually a RAM TRX file, so a 2022 uh, TRX. And in this case, if I click on write, you're gonna see a few things that are gonna come up and it's gonna still tell me exactly how many credits I need. So I'm gonna click on show license options. It's gonna read for a moment. And you can see here that it actually says that there is a engine, this has a VIN number. And then up here, this is gonna be the TCM. So we have our ECM 
and our TCM. And it is actually two credits for the engine only and an additional four credits if I want to do the transmission. So that would be six total credits to license this vehicle's engine and transmission. If I just want to do the engine, I can click on that. Or if I just want to do the trans, I can do it this way. Or I can do both of them, just depending on what I want to do. So that's basically how easy it is to go ahead and figure out how many credits you need if the vehicle's right there with you and you've already gone and gotten an upload from the vehicle. This way you can go ahead and purchase the necessary number of credits and move on with your tuning.